The Cognitech TriSuite software package includes Cognitech Video Investigator, Cognitech Video Active, and Cognitech Auto Measure. Video Investigator is Cognitech's comprehensive video processing platform for extracting the utmost available clarity from image or video sources. One of Video Investigator's primary functions, stabilization reconstruction, will be covered in this interactive tutorial. Welcome to the Cognitech Video Investigator Stabilization Reconstruction Tutorial. This interactive tutorial will focus on accurately stabilizing video with stabilization reconstruction. Camera shake or object motion can make it difficult to follow the action in a video. Unstabilized content can be difficult to visually analyze. Stabilized video becomes much easier to analyze. Traditionally, stabilization filters only allow for simple translational stabilization. Unfortunately, objects in the real world have more complex motion. Cognitech stabilization reconstruction can account for real-world motion using Video Investigator's accurate velocity estimation filters. Stabilization reconstruction can be used to stabilize subjects of interest in video. This helps to focus on features of the subject of interest. Stabilization video can be integrated with super resolution reconstruction techniques, such as Cognitech Face Fusion 3D, to enhance the resolution of the stabilized content. See the Face Fusion 3D tutorial for further information on Face Fusion 3D. Dashcam videos are a common source of video evidence with substantial shaking. We will use stabilization reconstruction to properly account for complex motion occurring in this video. Velocity plugin modules perform apparent velocity estimation by performing computational matching registration between video frames. The result is a velocity vector that is attached to each pixel. Velocity vectors are utilized in motion deblur, stabilization reconstruction, frame fusion reconstruction, and mosaic reconstruction. Cognitech Video Investigator has three available velocity filters, correlation matching, manual matching, and shape matching. The Motion Model section determines what combination of motion models will be used for calculating velocity vectors. Deselecting unnecessary motion models will increase the accuracy of the velocity calculation. Here are illustrations of the motion models available in the Shape Matching Velocity filter. The Motion Range section determines what range of motion will be used to calculate velocity information. Limiting motion range will more accurately determine the velocity of the desired shape. However, a desired shape motion outside of the motion range will not be tracked. Velocity for frame fusion reverses velocity vectors and is used when calculating velocity for frame fusion. Full rotation allows for large rotational changes. This option should not be used unless a large rotational change occurs. Artificial Intelligence utilizes adaptive thresholds to match shapes. This option is enabled by default and typically provides better results. The Track Match window automatically tracks any object selected in the video. This option is currently in development and will be available soon. Target Frames determine which frames get matched when determining velocity information. Target frames are numbered relative to the current frame position. This simple velocity pattern simply compares the current frame to the next frame and is the default velocity pattern. This is an example of an advanced velocity pattern that compares the current frame to each of the next three frames and stores a separate velocity pattern for each. All parameters and object selections can be copied between frames using the active interface. 
When activated, the active interface will provide an instant preview of the filter applied to the evidence. Before we can utilize stabilization reconstruction, velocity information must be computed. Open the Filters menu to continue. Velocity filters are found in the Velocity category. Open the Velocity submenu to find the proper velocity filter. Several velocity filters are available in Video Investigator. Click Shape Matching to open the Shape Matching Velocity filter. The motion in the evidence video contains all motion models. No motion models will be removed because this video has all the motion models. Target frames determine how many frames forward and backwards are to be compared when determining velocity information. Select target frame negative 3. Select target frame negative 2. Select target frame negative 1. Select target frame 2. Select target frame 3. Selecting the object of interest in the Evans video establishes the object to stabilize the video too. Click the Selection tool to make an object selection. Now that we have applied an object selection on a single frame, we need to duplicate the selection and filter parameters to the other frames in the video. Once the object selection and parameters have been duplicated, each frame can be easily customized independently. Toggle the Active Interface Copy Type to Parameters and Selections. Click Copy to copy the parameters and object selection from this frame. Click Duplicate to copy the parameters and object selection to all other frames. To save time, we've gone through every frame and adjusted the position of the object selection to follow the position of the vehicle. Click Process to calculate the velocity in the evidence video. Cognitech filters with Active Interface process each frame according to its individually definable parameters and object selection. Click Finish to close the shape matching velocity filter. Stabilization reconstruction stabilizes video according to the computed velocity vectors. Stabilization can be done by using velocity vectors between each adjacent frame. When multiple targets are available, stabilization reconstruction will take the shortest path. Shorter paths generally provide better results because they have less opportunity to accumulate air. Stabilization is found in the Reconstruction Filters category. The Input Types section allows a single movie or multiple movies or images as the source material. Currently, only the Single Movie option is available. The Multiple Movies Images option is currently under development. The Interpolation Methods section allows the user to adjust how unknown pixel values are determined. The Spline method is traditionally suggested as the fastest and most accurate option available. The Output Image Size section specifies the size of the video window after stabilization. Original size retains the size of the original video. Part of the scene for a particular frame will be clipped if it moves beyond the window boundary. Minimal Max resizes the window to cover the entire scene of the movie sequence and does not clip the movie. The Zoom section specifies scaling factors to enlarge or shrink the output image with respect to the original image size. The values are linked by default, but can be specified independently by toggling the Link button. The Fusing Frames section optionally allows the user to fuse content from neighboring frames. Increasing fusing frames in stabilization reconstruction can be used to reconstruct details using super resolution frame fusion. Further information on how frame fusion reconstructs details can be found in the Frame Fusion interactive tutorial. The center frame parameter determines which frame position the video will be stabilized to. The Velocity Pattern section shows available velocity patterns for the current frame. 
Patterns are derived from previously calculated velocity information. Now that we have velocity information properly calculated, open stabilization reconstruction found in the filters menu. Stabilization is found in the reconstruction category. Open the stabilization filter. Activate the filter to stabilize the video. Click Finish to close the Stabilization Reconstruction filter. Here is a comparison between the original video and stabilized video. Click Continue to end this tutorial. You have now successfully stabilized a full motion real world video with Cognitech Stabilization Reconstruction. Try Cognitech Stabilization Reconstruction and see how accurately stabilized video can work for you. If you would like to return to the beginning, click Restart Course. For sales or technical questions, contact us at sales at Cognitech.com or tech support at Cognitech.com or visit us at www.cognitech.com.